Today's episode is how to change your oil in a 2021 Yamaha EX-Sport. It's got its 10 hour mark. We already took the uh, seat off over there on the left. And we're going to change the oil in this bad boy. So if you've never done one, do it yourself. It's a lot cheaper. Alrighty. Some essential products that you need. Four quarts of oil to remove all the old oil and some cleanup and some tools and of course a funnel all right first thing we're gonna do is open up the dipstick take her out and the beautiful hose going down in there Time to suck it out. And as you can see, it's starting to come out. So this is going to take a little while, so we're going to speed up the uh, video. One thing that helps speed up the video, or <laughs> the whole uh, process, you might want to pick some of these up. It'll definitely make time go faster. 100%. So as that's emptying out, we're gonna drink beer. All right, so the oil change is going pretty good. And as you can see, you gotta get your cans of beers. And, uh, you know, we did, you know, sometimes you can run the engine and, uh, you know, obviously putting flush water through here um and get it all up to temp and get the oil out faster but uh what's the what's the fun in that when you got beer right here so we kind of go the slower way which is not a bad thing gives you time to drink beer hang out chat with friends but uh in the event that you are wanting to preheat everything just make sure you're uh adding flush water run the engine for you know the required time a few minutes but you got to have water on uh, and then obviously when you're going to kill your engine, make sure you shut the water off because you definitely don't want to flood this bad boy because, uh, that's going to be a bad day. But, uh, so right now we're still just extracting some oil and drinking beer. All right. So we got pretty much all of the oil out of the dipstick area. Now what we want to do is take this little clamp off and then stick our hose down that and suck the rest of the oil out. So here's a quick shot of how much we got out just using the uh, dipstick spot. Switching the hose over. Giving her some pumps. There she's going. And there she starts going. And we're going to go for a short break. This might take a while, so we'll have another beer. Beer time. So as you can see, we're about just, uh, just around three quarts. So we're pretty much getting close to being done. You can see uh, barely any oil is coming up and over. We went back over into... Uh, the dipstick hole and time wise roughly about two beers the other one's empty too and uh we're gonna stick it back in this hose just make sure we got everything out of it right there and uh that'll be that part and then from there we're gonna go ahead and change the filter Alrighty, well, looks like we got roughly one, two, three, maybe three and a half, four quarts out. So that's about right. I think somewhere it says 3.2 or four, but we're definitely empty there. And uh, we're in that other hole that I mentioned. Now we're gonna take it out. We're gonna leave this 
<clears throat> uncoupled here. Take doing the filter, I'm gonna definitely put some rags around here because I don't wanna have a huge mess in here. So put that around. Take a filter wrench. You can use a strap wrench or whatever you have. It really doesn't matter. But lefty loosey, righty tighty. So go left with it. Got that removed. Now we're going to get ready and get the new one. All right. Now we're going to change out the oil filter. So we got the new filter right there. Got some nice clean oil right there. Take the plastic wrap off. Put a little lubrication around it. And we're going to stick her in. And you pretty much want it hand tight. Next thing is, and this nice hose right here uh, that we disconnected earlier, we're gonna put about a half quart of oil. Give us one second. So for that uh, half quart, and because I don't have a funnel the right size, we're gonna use some engineering ingenuity. Take an Aquafina bottle with a funnel, fill it up, puncture a hole at the top of the cap, and we're gonna dump it right in, as you can see here. No leak, no drip. Beautiful. Now you fit it right back on the who's it. We'll put the clamp back on. And that's that. So you got a half quart of oil in there. Always afterwards. And I got the nice brand new filter. Now we're gonna put the funnel on the other one. Add the same amount of oil that we took out, which was exactly uh, four quarts. Give me one second. And if you have this beautiful power built pump, you can see right there, four quarts, four lines. Now we'll go ahead and grab the other quarts. And before we add the rest of the oil, we <clears throat> already added the half quart. Now we're going to just double check our uh, measurements here just to verify. So we're just taking an old jug here. Okay, we're going to test the oil that we just took out and we're going to dump it right in here. As you can see, that was four quarts. So we're dumping it in. Verifying what we got. And it should be right around that three, maybe three and a half quarts. And we got exactly 3.2 quarts out, which is what. One more shot. All right. Now we're just dumping oil in. in to get exactly back to that 3.2 all right the last little bit goes in 
and it's 3.2. So we're gonna go down to 26 ounces. Let's see where we're at. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. That, sir, is an oil change. Now we're gonna take it out. We'll put the uh, dipstick back in, which I got over here. Very nice. That is your oil change service, 10 hour, all the above. So now we're gonna check the who's it, the dipstick. By the way, depending on how fast you drink, it's about, I threw one can away, so about three cans. You gotta make sure you have at least three cans of beer. And that's if you don't do a uh, warm oil change, as in running your engine for a while with flush water. Now we're just gonna check it and make sure all is good. It's in between the lines, we're good. And that's that. That's an oil change for you guys. Hope you appreciate, like, subscribe, somewhere down in that, you know, general range. Stay on our channel, the other one. Also follow Task Force Alto on youtube that is also terry's garage and a couple of our videos that's uh we're men and we do shit and make shit happen that keep following do. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about!